Hey guys, what's up? It's Connor Mitchell, head whiz of Dragon Rider Network, and today we're here doing an unboxing from Parrot of one of their mini drones called the Jumping Sumo. So anyway, let's get into it. So this will run you about $160 on Amazon.com. Links for that will be in the description below. So anyway, this is basically different from every other drone that they've produced. A lot of their drones that they've made basically fly through the air. This one, in fact, rolls around and can actually jump. It's for indoor and outdoor use. You can take it about four and a half miles an hour, that's seven kilometers per hour. It can jump 80 centimeters or 31 inches in the air. I believe it lasts for about 20 minutes, at least I'm assuming that's what that 20 minute timer on the front is for. This actually has a built-in camera in it, so that way you can stream and record video while you're controlling it. And of course, there's Wi-Fi built in, so that way you can control it right from your smartphone. So anyway, let's go ahead and unbox this thing. Here's the front, obviously that's what it looks like. I got the white model for this purpose. Here's the side. Tons and tons of specs that you don't want to go through on live video. Very annoying. Here's the back, obviously showing some different things it can do. It can jump over things, it can jump down, it can jump up, it can do spins. It can do 90 degree turns in less than a second. Here we have the other side, a removable battery, charges via micro USB port, the jump system, adjustable wheels, and stickers so you can make it look cool. Here's the back, or no, the front again. Here's the bottom, here's the top. And there are apps available from the Apple App Store and the Google Play Store, so that way you can control it. The app is called Free Flight 3, and it is available for, th for free. <laughs> Try saying that five times fast. So anyway, let's go ahead and unbox it. For that, I will be using uh, the car key. If I can find where to open it. Here we go. Now I finally got it. So right off the bat, we are greeted with some pretty good looking stickers. I might use them, I might not. Depends on what I think of, oops. Depends on what I think. Some of these are actually kind of cool, especially this one, which reminds me of Aperture Labs. Just a little bit of a portal reference for you guys. So anyway, what we have right in here is the micro USB cord. And last but not least, saving it for the very last, the Jumping Sumo itself. So let me go ahead and run you guys through this. So basically what you can do is the adjustable wheels come in when you can just push them in like that. I believe this is so that way you can make tighter turns and so you can have either a little bit more control over it. When you extend them out, then it allows you to have more balance, it allows you to jump. And what you also have are these, hold on, I'm in the frame. What you also have are these rubberized feet that you can fit onto the back. So that way when it drags along, then it doesn't like scuff up anything too much and they're replaceable. And hold on a second, let me just put the drone right down there. Let it watch you. What we also have is this wonderful instruction booklet. I don't think we're really going to be needing it because these drones are often very straightforward. Here we have the rechargeable battery. We will need that. And that looks to be it. So anyway guys, I'm going to do two videos for this drone. One video is going to be a review, and the other video is actually going to be a test video of that camera while I'm controlling this drone running around like crazy, and it's going to be quite fun. I'm also going to ask my sweet mates Matt, Jay, and Devin to help out as well. So anyway guys, thank you for watching my unboxing of the Parrot Mini Drone Jumping Sumo. The review should come in a few weeks as well as that special video that I will be working on. So anyway guys, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel for more tech content like this. Also make sure you leave comments 
in the description down below if you want to see anything in particular. Also make sure you follow all of my social links down in the description below as well. So anyway guys, I've been Connor Mitchell and I will catch you guys at the next video. Talk to you then.